Good morning. I'm sure we all probably have old bull blocks out on our shop floor, which we have no idea what that machine can actually draw. And that's not unusual because in many cases, the machine is older than we are, and there's no documentation laying around which shows us what that machine can possibly pull. So we have to determine that. The best way to determine that is to first decide what the die pull or pull force of that block would be. And we're gonna use the above equation to do that. We're gonna take horsepower, which can be obtained from the motor plate times 33,000 divided by feet per minute. And we talk about feet per minute, we're actually talking base motor speed times a given gear ratio in relation to a specific block diameter or circumference. So to calculate feet per minute, we're going to use the following equations. Feet per minute equals shaft revolutions times K, where K is the block circumference in feet. Shaft revolutions is motor base speed, and again, motor base speed can be obtained from the motor base plate, divided by gear ratio. And to calculate gear ratio, we simply turn the motor shaft by hand, calculating the number of revolutions it takes to make the block turn one complete revolution. So once we know the gear ratio, we can divide the motor base speed, which will give us shaft revolutions. We multiply that shaft revolutions times the block circumference in feet, and we now have feet per minute. Once we know feet per minute, we can come up to the top formula, take horsepower times 33,000 divided by our feet per minute, and that gives us dipole. Once we know this dipole, we should record it, place it in a safe place, because from this point on, that will be our reference point for what that machine can actually pull as far as die force pull. So the following is an example of the equation we just talked about. Let's say we have a bull block that has a 30 inch block on it. It has a motor rated at 150 horsepower and the motor base speed is 400 feet per minute and it has a gear ratio of 15 to one. We can then, working on our dipole equation, will be the 150 horsepower times 33,000 divided by feet per minute and we come up with our dipole. Again, feet per minute would be shaft rotation, which is base speed, the 400, divided by 15, equaling 2667. To figure out feet per minute, we take the 2667 times block circumference in feet, which is 209. So we now have the 150 horsepower times 33,000, divided by the 209, giving us a dipole of 23,000 638 pounds for this specific bull block example. Okay, so now that we know what our bull block can pull in the form of die pull, we want to compare that to what a certain rod size down to a certain finish size, what that die pull would also relate to. And to figure out that dipole, we're going to use the following formula, which is dipole equals 43.56 times diameter squared, and that diameter is the diameter of the finished wire that we're drawing, times S, where S is the starting tensile of the incoming product, times K, and K is a constant related to certain percentages of reductions. And that factor, K factor, can actually be determined off a chart 
that is listed on page 263 of the Wire Association Volume 1 Handbook. So let's say someone comes up and says, can I draw a 910 rod down to 750 wire size from 1018 material? So we will work the equation out and determine if we can do that. 910 down to 750 is a 32% reduction in area. We know that a C1018 material has about 75,000 PSI starting tensile. So we now can fill in the factors into our equation. 43.56 times 750, the diameter of the finished wire squared, times 75,000 PSI, times the factor which we got off the chart of 0.0134. We do the math and it comes out that the dipole is 24,625 pounds. And from our first equation where we had 23,685 pounds available, we would see that no, we cannot draw this product on that last example that I just gave that only had 23,000 pounds of dipole. Hopefully these equations will help you in the future answering that nagging question of what can my bull block pull. Now let's review some key points from the video.